and we're back at Up North Out 4. Today we are joined with Wendy Annan, who is a fiber artist. Wendy, thank you so much for coming on and joining us here today. Thank you. I really enjoy coming on this show. Um, I'm just here to talk about the Northwoods Art Tour, and it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 to 5. Um, there's over 35 artists and many potters, fiber artists like myself. Also, fiber art can be loom. Um, it could be knitting, sock puppets. Uh, I don't know if they do sock puppets, mm -hmm. but um, there's a lady that has a knitting machine and mm -hmm. she makes socks on it somehow. Wow. Um, there's many woodworkers and painters. There's photographers that do um, very high scale photography and they can do commissions. Mm -hmm. So everyone's going to have things for sale this weekend, but they are also going to do a lot of demos, teaching aspects. Um, I'll be showing how to do an art quilt like this. Um, you start from a picture and cut it apart and add your basic background pieces. And then you can go into cutting the exact templates of the little grasses and um, eyes and mouth of the loon and its reflection. So, so this is kind of an interesting concept where these artists from all over the North Woods, you're from Eagle River, right. but people can basically stop by wherever they would like. And I've been to that sock lady in yeah. Hazelhurst. <laughs> She's very cool. Uh, <laughs> and so maybe talk a little bit about, have you been involved with this for a long time? Yeah, this is my third year, and I was a mural artist for 30 years, so it's naturally evolved for me to do something uh, different than just painting, but a lot of the painters um, will be demonstrating how they actually paint. Um, there are jewelry artists, and there's one in Rhinelander. There's one in Eagle River. Um, you just go to northwoodsartour.com, and you can choose your location you want to go to. You might split the weekend up into different areas because it is, I think it's two or three counties. Um, but, or you can just say, I want to look at just paintings and you can go to those are specific artists. The, it's an interactive map online that you can print out and they all have directions and phone numbers. So it's easy to find, they have websites. And so pretty much you start with this, then you kind of put it together, and then that's kind of the final product. Right. So how long would you say, I guess, it takes to really do all of this? Because there's like one, two, and three. Well, this one I have already designed, so it's quick for me, a day and a half. Mm -hmm. But to make one up, it might take four or five days because you have to think of, of scale and proportion. And like when this started, it was just a loon and I had another picture of pickerel weeds and I wanted to put them together. So I used computer programs to blend the two and make them kind of translucent so I can mm -hmm. see how it's gonna look before I print it. And then where do you get the fabric and then do you just kind of plan where to put it? Well, you know, <laughs> my mother-in-law was a um, kind of a quilt hoarder <laughs> and um, she died and left me all this fabric. So I have like a lot of fabric. So I've color coded it and it really helps to have like the blue greens right next mm -hmm. to the darker purple greens or yeah. whatever. So if people want to learn this process this weekend, where can they go for your stop? Mine is in Eagle River and we're right off 45, um, just past the bridge going toward Conover. And um, there's several other artists in Eagle River, so our stop is a good one, Eagle River. Okay. Thanks so much, Wendy. Well, thank you, Wendy. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. We'll be right back after this break.